hello, good evening. My name is Pauline Cummings and welcome to this evening's worship. Worship in isolation. The words that I'm using is coming from the Iona worship book. You will see some words at the bottom if you click on subtitles and you're more than welcome to follow me with those words. So let us be still before God as we come to God and really feel God's presence with us here this evening. Peace on each one who comes in need. Peace on each one who comes in joy. Peace on each one who offers prayers. Peace on each one who offers song. Peace of the Maker. Peace to the Son, peace of the Spirit, the Triune. O God, for your love for us, warm and brooding, which has brought us to birth and opened our eyes to the wonder and beauty of creation, we give you thanks. For your love for us, wild and free, which has awakened us to the energy of creation, to the sap that flows, the blood that pulses, the heart that sings, we give you thanks. For your love for us, compassionate and patient, which has carried us through our pain, wept beside us in our sin, and waited with us in our confusion, we give you thanks. For your love for us, strong and challenging, which has called us to risk things, asked for the best in us and shown us how to serve, we give you thanks. O oh God, we come to celebrate that your Holy Spirit is present deep within us and at the heart of all life. Forgive us when we forget your gift of love, made known to us in Jesus and draw us into your presence. We have a time of scripture reading and we take our reading this evening from the New Testament from Paul's letter to the Ephesians chapter 2 verses 11 to 22. So then remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands, remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace. In his flesh he, ha he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with, his, with its commandments and ordinances, so that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it, so he came and proclaimed peace to you who are far off, and peace to those who are near. For through him both of us have access to, in one spirit to the Father, so then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the, the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Let us pray. We bring to God someone whom we have met or remember today and for whom we want to pray. We bring to God our current situation in our world tonight, the coronavirus and all its implications. We bring to God silently someone whom we find hard to forgive or trust. We bring ourselves to God that we might grow in generosity of spirit clarity of mind and warmth of affection. O Trinity of Love, you have made, you have been with us at the world's beginning. Be with us till the world's end. You have been with us at our life's shaping. Be with us at our life's end. You have been with us at the sun's rising with us till the end, the day's end. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia.